Hello Academy, this is Mr. G with your lesson plan for today. Um, what we're doing now is we're trying to finish up all of our weight painting on our character. So your goal today is to get through all of these joints during the block day. We did all of these on Tuesday, these three, the left elbow, the left head, and the left neck, and that was with a lot of instruction. So um, some of these are much easier, some of these are much tougher, like the knee is going to be tricky. The goal is to have a nice, naturally moving character, and we're only focusing on the left-hand side because we can mirror it eventually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to review the elbow, and then I'm going to move on to the ankle, which is a good place to kind of re-demonstrate everything that's happening, just to kind of refresh your memory. And then I'm expecting you to go through every joint and make sure that it's bending naturally. Remember that the purpose of all of this work is to make our character have realistic movements and to avoid pinches and folds um, unless we really want that there. So let's take a look at what we did. So, and I'll hopefully be reminding you of all the little steps that need to be done, so do pay attention and um, let's see if this all makes sense. All right, so here is Link with his skeleton. And if I click on his skin and I go to skin, Edit Smooth Skin, Paint Skin Weights Tools, and I hit the Option box, um, you will see that if I go down to his elbow, and I'm on his elbow on this list here, and I've activated the, the color ramp, you'll see this nice, this is what we call a gradient, right? So um, what's happening here is the orange means the shoulder is influencing this set of vertices. And that's, I know it's hard to see with that light green, but this row of vertices here is orange, which means it's a 75% influence, right? Then this row and this row are yellow, which means it's a 50% influence. And then this just has a little bit of influence, like 12%. Now, when I click on elbow, this should swap. This will become orange, this will stay yellow, and then this will become green or blue. So by clicking on elbow, it becomes the inverse. We have a nice Rastafarian pattern right here, right? Red, yellow, green. And what this means is, is that the weight is distributed um, on a gradient or like as if it's diminishing its value as you go along these vertices. So this is a nice clear pattern to see. Not everyone is gonna be this clean. You might have some that actually get more spotty, but um, this is just a nice one to demonstrate first because it has that value. Now, if you don't use the color ramp, it's just gonna look like a faded gray part, which is fine too. And notice they still are the inverse of each other. And it looks like I made a mistake. It looks like some of my forearm got painted to my shoulder, which is really bad news. So just to show you quickly how to fix that, if I go down to my forearm here, you notice there's no value here. It's completely black. So what I want to do is I want to make this part white for the forearm. I don't want to go to the shoulder and type in down here at the value and type it in as a zero and subtract from there. You've learned that. That's rule number two or one, right? Never subtract or go down in value. Always go up. So what I have to do, somewhere along this painting line, I made a mistake. I'm going to go to my forearm. I'm just going to add the value of one there. And I'm going to paint like so, and that gives me the value of 100 at those vertices. So now the glove will move with the hand, oops, the glove will actually move with the hand and not with the shoulder. And that's what we want to have happen. So that was a nice little review of how to do a basic zero and 100% influence. So you might mess up, you might paint somewhere else like I just showed you. Um, and you just, it's a simple correction. You just got to have to be aware of which joint you're at. All right, let's take a look at the ankle. The ankle is a great place to demonstrate what we did yesterday and to kind of refresh your memory. Now, when you're bending your character, it's best to look at it in three mode, not one mode. So when I'm bending this character's joint, I'm going to look at it in three mode. I'm just trying to find the joint real quick. There it is, the left ankle. And if I go to hit middle mouse click, and then I go to look at the joint, you'll notice this guy's shin is collapsing way too much. And it's getting this nice, huge, it's, it's a crease, it's a huge dent. The heel's actually looking not bad, right? Um, it's, but it's deforming the leg to make it look like the leg's actually losing shape or volume. 
The backside ain't bad. The backside, this part of the heel, we're actually going to keep. Right? It's only the front part that's actually going to look like the elbow that I just demonstrated because that's not realistic. Right? So, um, let's start painting the wings. So, what we're going to do is, and like I said, check the bend in three, but then when you start painting the weight, go back to one mode. All right. So, the back of the heel actually looked kind of good. I don't want to touch the back of the heel. It was bending quite nicely. So, this part is going to stay white. I'm going to turn on my color ramp again down here. Um, this part is going to stay white. It's this front part that we're going to have to play with the gradient. So let's see what needs to happen. Once again, if I bend this up, put it in three mode. If I bend this up, whoop, again, if I bend that up, right, there's the, the ankle is carrying too much weight on these vertexes. Right? Those vertexes right there that you can't see right now have too much influence from the ankle and it needs to hold its shape. So to get it to hold its shape, I'm going to apply it to the knee, the joint above it. Okay. So I'm going to go back here to painting. And so this is all 100% influence. And so like, like rule number two says, I can't subtract. That's 100% influence. I can't go down. I can't go lower than, I can't go higher than 100%. So I have to go to my knee and give the knee some weight. And I'm going to start with a 50-50 percentage. And I'm going to start with that 50-50 on this vertex and go halfway through the ankle. Right? So I'm going to go to my knee here, type in 0.5 for 50%. The back looked good. I'm just going to grab here. And notice it's hard to paint in three. So go to one. And I'm painting this 100% And one more right there. Okay. Now, since I'm already at the knee and I am suspecting I might have to have a little influence on this top part of the foot, I'm going to make that 25%. So I'm going to go here, go 0.25. Now, that's okay because this part is still black, which means it's a low percentage. So I have 25%, click right there, here, and here. And now that should cover it. So now I'm going to hit three again. And I'm going to test it. Oops, I got to make sure I'm on my ankle. So I click back here. I'm on my ankle, middle mouse click. And I'm going to test it. And notice you still have a crease, right? But this shape is not deforming as much. Now let's check the, the front bend. And the front bend's holding its shape a lot more. This might be it. I might give the elbow, excuse me, the the knee a little bit more influence on that 25% and we'll see how that looks. So I'm not 100% certain, I'm experimenting and that's what I want you to do. So I'm going to make this 50% and then I'm going to give that 25. I might even not even need to do that, but let's see. I'm going to go 0.5. Now, green means 25%. So I can paint right here like so. Now that's all 50%, and then I'm going to bring this back down to 0.25. Oops. 0.25, and I'm going to paint right here, here, and here. And now let's see how that looks. I'll go to 3. I'll go back to my ankle. I'll middle mouse click, and I'll... Well, now that's that looks weird, right? I've done too much. So I probably want to get rid of that influence on that first part. And I want to uh, probably, we'll see how the 50 looks without it. So, but doesn't that look horrible? That looks horrible, right? So let's fix that again. Go back to your weight pane, hit knee. And now I'm going to go to my ankle here. And, ah, that was part of the ball. So I have to go back to the ball of my foot. And I'm going to paint that at 1%, or well, not 1%, excuse me, 100%. And notice it's, it's hard to paint because I'm not in three mode. Excuse me, I'm not in one mode. So I'm going to hit one here and just paint 100% on those values. So that's where the vertexes really are. Three is an illusion. And then I'm going to go back to my ankle, see how it bends with 50%, but I'm probably going to have to reduce. Yeah. 
Let's go back to what I had before. So I'm going up to the knee. I'm going to paint this knee here. I'm going to paint it back to 25% and see how that holds up. And again, this is at 50% on the knee. I can't reduce. I can only go up, right? So what I need to do is I need to add, instead of 25%, I need to add 75% to the ankle. So I go to the ankle and make that 75%. So it's orange for the ankle, and it's going to be green for the knee. And there you have it. So now in three mode, it should go back to the way we were bending before. So let's see, middle mouse click, and that's probably as good as we're going to get. You do want a slight crease, and that's what's happening there. Um, but that back of the ankle looks great. And it's not deforming as much, which is what we were trying to avoid. So uh, that's weight painting with a gradient. It's just trying to improve the creases that happen. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the ball and maybe mess around with that bend. But you shouldn't need to do much. It's deforming in here, so you need to add some value to the ankle. And it'll start to look a lot better, just like you did here. So do that part first, because it's an exact repetition on your own. Then move on to the knee. And the knee's a little tricky because then the knee, right, in the knee, excuse me, in the knee, you're going to want to keep the lip of the boot stuck to the knee. So the knee, you just want to make sure this leg deforms too much. So in the knee part, you want to make sure this leg holds its shape. All right. So good luck. Remember, the weight paint is make sure you click the skin. Make sure you go to skin, edit smooth skin, paint weights, sting weights tools, hit the options. And make sure you're using every, all the different, you're checking out every single vertex. That's the goal. Remember the rules. Don't subtract or go down in value, always add. So if there's something at 100% that you want to be 50%, assign the value to a different um, joint. So if I'm at the elbow and I want to subtract 100% weight off the elbow, I have to give the shoulder or the forearm that weight. Um, Remember to assign them to the vertices. That's the only place you can paint. Uh, start from the outer and work your way in. And try using gradients like 25, 50, 75. Or you can even try 66 and 33%. Right? Um, don't forget we're mirroring the weights on Friday. So just do the left-hand side. And then we'll deal with the, the mirroring later. And don't be afraid to experiment. Command-Z is your best friend. I'm even going to type that. That's how important I feel it is. Command Z is your best friend. Good luck. These, this list will be left on the screen, and have a great day.